Hi guys, and thanks for coming back and hanging out with me again today for another reaction video. Today we're going to be listening to, watching, and reacting to one of my new favorite voices that I've discovered through my channel and through you guys and through your suggestions and requests in the comment section, so keep filling them up. That's what they're for, is uh, more suggestions and more requests so we can keep the channel rolling and keep discovering awesome new music together and listening to it together and watching and reacting to it together. It's all about togetherness here. <clears throat> this is a song called Take Me to Church and it is a cover song and I, 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 I can't even tell you guys how much I love this man's voice. I know I can keep saying it. And I hope that expresses it. But um, sometimes it's kind of hard to express really how much you fall in love with a singer when you're such a music lover like I am because I fall in love with so many of them. I have tried to emphasize and highlight the fact that a raspy voice in a vocalist is something that has always appealed to me, appealed to my ears, my personal taste in music, eh? And, and like I said before, Chucker Khan checks all of the boxes for me, my personal taste in, in, a, so, in a solo male vocalist, eh? And uh, anywho, so the song is called Take Me to Church. It's a cover song by the band Hosier, or Hosey, I'm not sure how to pronounce that because I'm not familiar with this band at all. I'm not even sure if I'm familiar with the song at all. It does sound familiar. The title of it sounds familiar but the band title doesn't so it might be something that I've heard in passing but I've not heard Chucker Khan's version of it so uh anywho and that's what we're here for today so without further ado let's jump right into it and as usual I hope you enjoy it my love has got humor since the giggle at the funeral lost everybody's disapproval I should have worshipped her sooner if the heaven never did speak since the last true mouthpiece and every sign is getting more bleak fresh poison each week we were born sick you heard them say a church of us no absolutes she tells me worship in a bedroom the only heaven i'll be sent to is when i'm alone with you i was born sick but i love it command me to be well any that's a fine looking high horse i love that lyric i'm not really positive what this song is about i do believe that i have heard it before in passing um so yeah maybe you guys can fill me in on the comments and maybe reacting to the original of this song might be a good idea too so that i can hear what he's done with it to change it if he's changed it his voice though you guys can we say enough about his voice we can't we can't say enough about his voice his, it's just that he's got the everything that I love so much. His voice completely sucks me in. I get engulfed in listening to, to him when he sings. He's absolutely amazing. Big, big love for this man and for his voice. And uh, yeah, I'm going to drag it back a minute. I love that lyric. That's a fine looking high horse because far too many people are up riding on their high horses, aren't they? And there's a saying, how does it go? The higher the horse you ride, the more it's going to hurt when you fall off or something like that. 
just be humble and don't be on a high horse. It's just better that way, you know. Life is much easier when you're already down to earth and you're not riding on that high horse. So, anywho, uh, yeah, let's drag it back and uh, listen to that part again. To give the goddess on my side, said a nice sacrifice, trying to hold see, cause something shiny, something made it for the main course. That's a fine looking high horse. What you got in a stable with a lot of starfy faithful? pouring out of him in this song like you could you could see it and you could feel it you could hear it and you could feel it and you could see it in his uh in his physical motions physically you could see that the the emotion that he was putting out the power that he was putting into this in, into his vocals in this song and I liked the fact that it was uh sort of chill like you know the the environment um it looked like maybe he was just kind of chilling at his at his apartment or his house or whatever it's kind of looked like that casual feel to it which I love and uh anyways I kind of wish I could see his face a little bit in this one because there was so much in it that he was putting into it but it was a beautiful song I'm not really sure what it's about no I'm not familiar I think I might have heard it a couple of times maybe in passing and uh, so yeah it's up to you guys do you want me to react to the original of this song or do you want to fill me in the comments as to what it was about we can't say enough about his voice we just can't say enough about his voice so Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for hanging out with me again today. And if you have any more suggestions and requests for Chuck or Con or for anybody, drop them in the comments. And uh, yeah, so that pretty much wraps it up for today. And thanks for hanging out with me. And I have to go prepare for our big storm because we're getting hit with a doozy. We are getting hit with a doozy. So uh, anywho, um, I need to get some potato chips. And I need to get some other snack stuff. I need to get some treats for Kitty. And uh, Lord knows if our power is even going to stay on, right? So, anyway, if you don't see me for a couple days, send food. Just send it to Nova Scotia. I'll, I'll find it. So, anyways, guys, thanks for hanging out with me again today. And we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.